y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of vlogmas in today's video i'm going to share with you two breakfast recipes that i think would be really good christmas morning recipes for you to try uh, one thing about christmas that i will always remember and cherish i guess you could say is the breakfasts that we've had on christmas morning i remember growing up that uh, it was a big thing when my mom would fix a big, big, you know, egg, bacon, eggs, biscuit, gravy, all the things. And um, we really enjoyed that. And then now, since I've been married, we've stayed at my father-in-law's house every Christmas Eve. And we get up on Christmas morning, open gifts, and then fix a big old breakfast. I think years ago when that tradition first started, it would be at midnight we would do it. Or maybe it was on New Year's Eve that we would do it. I can't remember. But I do know that now and for many many years we've gotten up on christmas morning at my father-in-law's open gifts and then fixed a big old breakfast and so breakfast is a big thing for me it, it's it's very um christmasy and so i've got a couple of, of um, dishes here that i'm going to share with you and i actually have a couple of more but i don't have it ready for today's video so it'll be in, a, in another video but these are really easy this first one is a tater tot sausage breakfast casserole couldn't be any easier the recipe calls for two pounds of breakfast sausage i only use one pound i think i had intentions of using one pound of sausage and one pound of bacon but when i was in the moment here i forgot to get the bacon so it's just the sausage but still just as good and this recipe is actually interchangeable you could use whatever you want if you don't want to <laughs> use sausage or Bacon, if you want to make it more of a, of a um, dinner, you could add chicken, whatever the case may be, it will, it'll still be good. So I fried up my sausage and then I put my I put a bag of um, frozen tater tots in the bowl and my cheese. I think it's about a, one to two cups of cheese. And I'm just going to mix all of that together. And it's okay if the hot sausage melts the cheese. It's all right because it's all going to go in a baking dish anyway. And then I have two, I'm going to put this in two nine, uh, eight by nine, let's see, eight by, yeah, eight by eight, I think, um, baking dishes. One is a glass one because we were going to have it for dinner on this evening. And then the other one is in a full pan that I'm going to wrap up and put in the freezer and use it for another day. And that's one of the things I like to do with recipes because most of the time it's just me and my husband at home. Um, sometimes my daughter is here and these little pans are more than enough to feed two or three of us. So I'm just going to get these separated into two 8x8 baking dishes. And then I'm going to start working on the egg mixture. And all the egg mixture is, is eight eggs, two cups of milk, um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Super easy. And again, you can add whatever um, spice you want to, to that um, blend. But I'm going to get all that mixed up and then I'm going to pour it in evenly into each dish. And then this will bake uh, about three, it bakes at 350 for at least an hour. And I say it like that because I thought, my thinking was, if these are in smaller pans, it won't take as long to bake it. But nope, I was wrong. You need at least an hour to get the eggs to sit, set. So bake it uncovered for, I don't know, 60 to 70 minutes or until the eggs are set.
I will link this recipe down below. I got it from Pinterest and it was really, really good. And a good savory bake, uh, breakfast for Christmas morning. So now I'm going to share with you a sweet breakfast and I apologize for the weird camera angle. I actually um, videoed it the right way, but <laughs> it wasn't on my mind that I was not wearing a shirt that was very flattering. And so um, y'all didn't need to see all that. So I kind of cropped it. But this is a very good recipe as well. It's a very good sweet if you'd rather have something sweet on Christmas morning. This is a cranberry breakfast bake, and it's very, very good, very, very delicious. The um, fresh cranberries that I put in it, it kind of cracked me up because I actually made this as a dessert for a Sunday dinner when it was my turn to cook, and the um, cranberries, you know how cranberries are, they're tart, and they need a lot of sugar to sweeten up, and so the cranberries I put in whole, so when you bite into it, you got that tartness, that squirts in your mouth which i absolutely love but i got tickled at my sisters and the scrunched up face that they made when they when they bit into a cranberry and i had that little bowl sitting on the counter and my daughter came in and said are these are these okay to eat and i looked at her and i was like sure go right ahead she immediately spit it out <laughs> if you've ever tasted a fresh cranberry you know exactly what i'm talking about so in this um, recipe, I'm going to get my um, sugar and my butter and blend it. And I'm going to blend it for about, I don't know, four to five minutes till it gets kind of fluffy and white. And that helps aerate the cake a little better. So while that's going, I'm going to get uh, my other ingredients out and together. I do have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And this recipe, I can link it below as well. But this recipe, I am doubling. Um, this one actually is um, um, configured for a 9 by 9 baking dish. And like I said, I was making this as a dessert. So I actually doubled the recipe and put it in a 9 by 13 baking dish. So while that's going, I'm getting my other ingredients together. And I need, um, I'm going to tell you what I did. And then you can look at the recipe later. But I, I needed two eggs. And the recipe called for three-fourths um, teaspoons of vanilla extract and three-fourths teaspoon of almond extract. I will not use the almond next time because it was too overpowering. And I didn't double either one of those because it just seemed like a lot anyway. And I, I wish that I had doubled the vanilla and just left the almond alone. It just, I mean, almond is good. I, it's very strong and it was too strong for this dish, especially since the recipe calls for a teaspoon of lemon juice. Well, I didn't use lemon juice. I used orange, fresh orange squeezed juice. And I also added the um, zest of an orange. So anyway, you can, you do you, if you like the almond, go ahead. But then I needed two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and that I left as it was. It's, well, I doubled the baking powder. And then I used the recipe calls for two cups of flour. I used four because, like I said, I was doubling the recipe. And then um, cranberries. And um, the recipe called for sparkling sugar. But I don't have that. So I just used regular sugar. And it was just fine on the top. It did just fine. So the first thing first, I'm blending all this together. I'm getting all of my, um, my eggs and my extract. Um, blend it in and then I add my baking powder my salt and then my four cups of flour um, I'm going to alternate I do two cups get that blended in and then I'm going to add the milk mixture which is a cup of milk and you can use half and half or milk whatever you want <clears throat> but I had milk and then that's where I added my orange juice and zest so you do half of the flour mixture all of the milk mixture and then half of the flour, the other half of the flour mixture, get it combined. And then you're supposed to fold in your cranberries. I always just, when it comes to stuff like that, I'll dump it in there, give it a couple of whisks with the um, mixer, and then we're good to go. And so I get all this done. I'm going to put it in a um, greased 9 by 13 baking dish. And my oven is at 350 degrees, and this needs to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes. Check it in the middle because mine was still gooey and I had to put it in for, I did it for another um, eight minute increments until the middle was set and done. This really was, it was good. It would have been a lot better if I had 
omitted the um, almond extract. So that's going to be it for today's video. Both of these recipes I think would be wonderful breakfasts to have on Christmas morning. I actually like to um, try different things and I, I'll have another breakfast video to come out with a couple of um, sweet breakfast ideas that you could try for. You can do this any day of the week. It doesn't have to be Christmas, but um, you know, you kind of want your Christmas bre breakfast to be special. But anyway, this is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, we are this was day this is day twelve, and we still have um, uh, well I guess halfway to go because I'm going to film all the way to Christmas Eve and put up a Vlogmas video. So if that sounds like something you guys want to be a part of, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you will know when I upload. And then after Christmas, I will go back to my regular Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uploads. So hope you guys will come back for that. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.